On the latest episode of DJ Copies Africa Now Radio, Davido was guest host where he talked about his album. Talking about his relationship with artists for collaborations, he says he's particular about having a relationship with an artist before getting in the studio to create music, stating that he met Lil Baby before he blew up. Also, he stated that his collaboration is more than music and about sharing culture. He didn't say if he paid for the future or not. Hmm. Um, I mean, we're talking about this, to be clear, because we had the conversation regarding um, Lil Baby and how he came out to tweet something saying that is from the trenches, he was paid 100 dollars so he couldn't be bothered, you know. Um, but listening to Davido speak to Copy, his take was, I must say, matured, not even a bit more matured. It was matured. It felt like he had a relationship with this guy. This is someone who came to um, Nigeria. Nigeria and it was took him saying, out and he Oh, is Davido going to be there? Mm. I would like him to be there. You go over there, you put hang out. And I'm just wondering how that was the best tweet that could come from a little baby if this kind of relationship Davido um, recounted yeah. is actually real. Well, um, I think um, a lot of people react in different ways. Yeah, David O was a lot more mature, definitely. And um, another thing why um, I will not totally call out Lil Baby, mm -hmm. because of the unnecessary backlash, Nigerians too, we need to calm down. If it's not only Nigerians, <laughs> we make this thing look like the things that happen on social media is... If a Nigerian thing is a global people, thing, people that we even have baby more trolls and savages, or what they call the them, savages, savages or yeah. whatever, abroad than you have in Nigeria. How many people are? How on many people came for Lil Baby Nigeria? because of um, um, because of um, what's that? But song? you need to understand that Davido is an African artist. He yeah. has his base here. Yeah. So if if Lil Baby collaborated with someone from Asia and the, his fans in Asia does not like his delivery on the song, then you expect um, an Asia to respond to I don't know Asia what they were expecting from a new baby because well. I actually like that song. I think that's the best song on the album. So mm, crazy. I'm just trying that. to say that it's not It's the best album. In, is, I said it's the best <laughs> album on the album. It's the best song on the album. In fact, that's the actually, whole album, actually. Yeah, that song yeah. is good. That song is a really good song. So I don't even understand where people are coming from. Maybe because Lil Baby is a rapper. Forget about where people are coming from, Ife. When you want to be biased, I see you when you start it. Talk about Lil Baby's reaction and tweets to people. Lil Baby is a celebrity. He's not somebody that just jumped into fame or somebody that Davido is bringing into fame. He has experienced trolls. He has experienced being insulted. He has experienced being dragged. So why did he feel the need to be condescending when he had to respond to well, trolling that came from a feature with him and Davido? You're asking like, maybe this is a prophecy, like I'm, I'm you baby's <laughs> manager. But if it's a prophecy, I accept you baby, maybe you need a new manager and they have recommended <laughs> me to you. But I cannot answer that question why I felt the need to respond that way. But I, like I said initially, a lot of us react differently. Mm -hmm. Your maturity level is different from mine. The way you react to a certain um, incidents mm -hmm. is different from the way I would react to it. Maybe at that time it felt like that was the right thing to say. He couldn't control the trolls. He couldn't do it. He couldn't take it anymore. They have a thick skin. Mm -hmm. So I'm not making excuses for him, but okay. I'm just saying that the fact that David O was a bigger man doesn't mean that Liu Baby too does not have sense. He <laughs> If you want to insult this guy, just say it He does not have sense. He just showed that at that point, he did not have sense. Okay. But he has sense. But that was in, I'm sure by now he regrets it. Because mm -hmm. uh, after, especially after seeing David O's interview, he'd be like, oh man, so well this guy spoke about me. Yeah. And look at what I said about him. I'm sure mm -hmm. by now he'll be calling David O to say, bro, I'm really sorry about what I said, man. Okay. I didn't mean to put out the figures out happening. there. But I hope that is happening. And I hope this will not be another, why they call the para, para, para song coming out for Lil Baby. David uh, O, please. Don't but do David Do has always but said you know David that can Femme do that. was recorded in, I think, mm -hmm. June of 2020, and he wasn't thinking of beefing anybody when that song was I beg, made. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Let's so even, I don't know some why. Some lyrics were changed. Odogu like to party. Tell so Odogu he, he cannot, like to party. So wait, wait, wait. I have a friend I've been calling Odogu like forever before Bonaboy decided to use Odogu in his song. So you think a, a, a David o cannot just use Odogu in his lyrics because what? Because Bonaboy used it. You got no 30 BG. Where you see 30 BG, huh? Okay. Ah, come on, man. <laughs> anyway. Come on, man. 
Um, and then I also in his new talk, he said out. it's not a floppy. First of all, I like to start when they asked him that mm. uh, on one of those popular Nigerian radio stations, mm -hmm. when they asked him about a um, uh, mistake on a better time, he said, first of all, it's not a floppy disk. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So you caught your sob and you reacted to it. So obviously, all is not well, even in the well. Okay, maybe you've been in the well before, but I want to give a shout out. I've never been <laughs> in the well. Hey, <laughs> to me, DJ Copy. I've been swimming in the I, house I don't know if you like. listen to, I mean, it's her, her African Now Radio is more of music than talking, but there's something about how she, she asks her questions. She has this very soothing voice that you just want to keep listening to her. So I just want DJ to copy? say, yes, you, you need to listen to her interviews. Like she, she was very calm. And I think her calmness, her calmness also rubbed off on David because David was speaking and he was calm he wasn't like trying to be overly but wait, hyper you, you, know, you know the yes. thing i have again so shout out to copy. is another problem with all this sensationalization mm. um david o says um, and um no dj copy said david o should be calling her auntie and david o reacts mm. yeah, i was waiting for david o to say hey, now i'm like come on like i didn't even see anything close to that they just laughed about nothing. it he didn't say anything about pain yeah. Um, Lil Baby or not, and that was a headline on a certain blog as well. So, we've always said on, on this table when you see a headline, please don't roll along with it. Kindly read some people through, just read headlines, listen through. I know sometimes when you see the video and it's like 50 minutes or one hour, you rather say, you know what, let's go with what these people have said. But trust me, um, like you just said, sens sensationalizing is going on, and people just want clicks. For One guy gave to give I me gist know. about a story that me I totally read with headline. Ha! You don't hear what's <laughs> happening. Me, I understood the story. I've even spoken to the party involved. I, I was just looking at this guy. I said, "Don't finish. Mm. Don't talk now. Nah, nah, nonsense." You understand? And I told him the full story. I'm sure he felt very stupid, but mm. he would still, he still wanted to stand in a lie. But how and many people can you do that for? So we need to read for so ourselves. So the bloggers need yeah. to do a better job at putting out better well, headlines. We'll be talking about bloggers doing a better job and they are not doing it. So the onus falls on the consumers of this information to ensure that they are consuming True. the right thing. True. So at the end True. of the day, I'll be talking fact to you, checking. listening to fact check and be sure that um, the story you are going to run around now to tell the guy at the backyard, you see what I read, is the right thing. Because once you spread it out there, even when you get corrected, you might not get the opportunity to go back to the people mm -hmm. you've um, mm -hmm. shared that information to, to say um, what I said was wrong. And this, and even when you do, it doesn't go as far as um, the bad news. Or, I think you, you know. start flogging people for wrong information. <sighs> okay.